as cool as that is, like, you've got all these commander talent, skill, options, whatever that you could do. So rather than just be like, do this and win, I'm going to tell you the core that I'm going to recommend, and then I'm going to talk about the other stuff that could fit, the things you could choose, stuff like that. So you need to. Well, I think Macross Plus, I've heard good things. Double D, okay, so double CV, not a big fan of the double CV stuff. Um, double CV is, uh, CVs are very accurate, which is going to be a problem because they accurately do damage. So they reduce the amount of damage CVs can do, but when you double the CVs, you double the damage. Secondly, Action stations. you need to worry about their CVs. Uh, the Ryujo might harass you with rockets. The Furious might harass you with rockets. They'll probably hit you with uh, 1300 damage a strike. And I think the T-61 has three kilometer aerial detection, so... Uh, you know, play around it, try to joust, I guess. Aww. Um... Well, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll give you a fighter for what it's worth, and we'll just keep looking. I actually went out in the wrong thing. I should be going out in bombs. With the Ark Royal, you want to be able to bomb destroyers you come across. So, I took the wrong armament here. Okay, so we're going to continue on the scouting run. I might end up striking the Devonshar. Fighter airborne. So, Dallas? Devonshire has a heal, Dallas does not. Do we have the ability to strike the Dallas? Slam on the brakes, hard turn. Nope, can't do it. You do really like a 90 degree hard turn. We got greedy. I went for the 120 or something. How do I get a straight six match? 40% uh, of your matches will be bottom tier, 40% will be like top tier or something, and some percentage of them will be straight, like just at the tier. I don't know, it's matchmaker numbers or something. Devon Star doesn't look like he's long for the world, which is cool. We might work on the New Mexico. This is starting to group up, so it's kind of an issue. Yeah, dead. Cool. So we'll work on the New Mexico since it's isolated. That's how it's done. But the first season of Robotech and the uh, last season of Robotech were great. Second season's a little awkward, but I mean, still fun. Pop the engine boost, just kind of want to get this dude before he snuggles up to the island. And we do have some maneuverability in these rock, uh, the torpedo planes. British torpedo planes do turn. So we'll try and use that, so it's a little similar to what the FDR can do. We'll try to come in and torque from the other angle as well. But they're not maneuverable. I think he used priority sector on the other side. That's why I was just making like no sound. There we go. I might come back out and do this. Realistically, I should probably wait for the torps to come back. Detected by enemy aircraft. Torps? Usual torps? Bombs over there, okay. Many thanks. Try to deal with the Dallas, maybe. Keep going on the... Keep going on the New, the new Mexico. Mode enabled. Can I move forward? Probably. I don't really have much that can shoot me, I don't think. Can you shoot me? No, I shot him. Got it. We'll strike this again. Matchmaker always ensures the 40% hits you consecutively? No. The big thing to remember is, when you do a tier 6 game, if you jump from tier 6 in one ship to tier 6 in another ship, like, you might play CVs and always get bottom tier, and then you play cruisers at the same tier and suddenly you're top tier every game. You know, oh, this is fucking amazing, I love this. Well, you're burning your top tier games on the cruisers because you burned your low tier games on the CVs, so... You know, whatever. If 
we come back in, we only get a single torp? That might be okay. Do we actually get a torp? I don't know. We do not. Maybe. So we started our attack run to engage like a damage resistance. Because there's a small amount of damage resistance that, um... Uh, it's either you take half damage or 30% reduced. I think it's half. We're hold below the water line. You get a hit. Quickly. New Mexico is extremely low. Hmm. So sadly, the New Mexico is going to heal before we can get back. A little tough. Do we have anything here? We have death. We have lots of death. That's what we have. Much death. Fighter airborne. Cool. So we're bullet sponging. Not super excited about that, but not super against it either. Yoba has fighters. DD turns out. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. Maybe. Booyah! I will take that. Rockets for cruisers. So we haven't really had a chance to bomb DDs. Um, so... Normally with the Ark Royal, there's going to be bombing destroyers. That's going to be a big part of the balanced diet. He goes down. Yeah. And we just really haven't, uh, really haven't done that at all. Not a big fan of rockets on DDs with the Ark Royal. 2900 ain't bad though. We cut off the AA here. We can. Do we get to do something? That I don't know. Start the attack run to engage the damage resistance on the planes. Take the shot. So as we can keep up with the uh, the torps or something. So cool thing is, I mean I've eaten a lot of damage and I'm not dead, which means the damage they're putting into me is not resulting in a kill, obviously. So that is useful. We just lost three different ships in a very short period of time. Maybe those torps will fade out, I don't know. That'll spot the Dallas. Which nobody can Fighter hit. Airborne. Fighter airborne. Cal might go down to shells. I'm gonna try and do like the stupid FDR turn thing with the uh, British torpedo planes. Nope, we didn't get to turn in hard enough. But I can start moving forward again. Oh, we did. Oh, spot. It's DD Leander, the Gallant. It's been rough all game. Fire on the designated target. Concentrate fire on the target. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> or not. I mean, it doesn't have to hurt, really. It just looked like it was gonna hurt. But, you know, when it came down to it, it didn't hurt that much. Destination reached. 
We did get to drop with three. There we go. That's better. Do we can rocket the Dallas? I don't, I don't know where the Gallant is. Boy, see why the CB CB or DD mains despise CVs. They are similar with. Goes down? Nope. Oh, probably goes down to Torbs. Or not? We have to shoot this? I suppose we have to shoot this. I mean, realistically, like. Really? Alright, I have it worth rockets. Ha! What insanity is this? Okay, okay. Sure. Cruiser sunk. That was uh that was a lot of effort really to take that dude down. Fighter airborne. I am detected, which means the gallant is somewhere. Um he's probably over there somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. Can I pull away to find him? Because he's gotta be like over here somewhere. We are detected. We are still detected. What the ever-living fuck? Okay. He's like way over there. We're like riding right up my ass cheek here. That's amazing. Holy shit. Okay, well we might have dodged some torps or something. Our victory is in sight. We need to work on the uh, the New Mexico. Critical engine damage. Realistically, yeah, he just shoots at me here. So concentrate fire on the enemy warship. There is the bad man's. Because we die very soon. Not a small hit on him. Dallas is gonna help. Perform juke maneuvers. Hilarious. Uh, we might not be dead. We live! Sexy. Problem solved, sir. What we can do is box him here. Nope. He kept wiggling back and forth, so I didn't know if I could box him effectively. The answer is no. Well, this was the wrong choice. <laughs> it's not even gonna shoot me, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. This was such a chaotic game. It was, uh, it was a giant cluster in the middle that was... We were chiseling away at the middle, chiseling away at the middle, chiseling away at the middle, over and over and over again. So it, it was, uh, it was quite a lot. Not a joke, it's quite a lot.